How you guys doing today? Welcome to Woodstock. There is a sixth sense that you develop when you spend your life going to venues. Woodstock, baby. I can tell you a hundred feet away what the energy in that venue is going to be like. It was not your parents' Woodstock. We got off the bus, and I was like, something's not right. It was like 1,000 degrees. I think we should leave. It's so hot in here. Water was $4 a bottle, which is a ridiculous cost. The porta potties unusable. You had kids rolling around in what they thought was mud. In an environment where exploiting women, you could get away with it. You could feel something bubbling. In pop culture, there's this dark energy coming from young white males that entertainment is perpetuating. You have a crowd who are excited, inebriated, and you give them a band to help them release that energy. What do you think's gonna happen? They had the crowd going insane. People were dehydrated, passing out. There are a lot of stupid humans around here. We walked off stage and we're like, get out of here. Like, we need to leave right now. There's no rest, there's no breaks, there's no rhythm, there's no come down. It's gonna crash. The laws of normal society just don't apply here. Kids were petrified out there. This wasn't Woodstock 69. There is an umbilical cord between the dark, sexual, cultural underbelly in the country at that time to where we are now. A lot of that energy just wound up in chat rooms and Reddit boards in 2021. The question quickly became not how could this have happened, but how could it not? <laughs> 